All right, I've been getting some work done, haven't filmed much. Um, I think I drilled the holes and mounted this a while ago. Um, just stuck it back on for now. Um, worked on this. Got the holes drilled out um, for this piece. I kind of did it ass backwards. I'm supposed to stuff it behind the skin, and then all the holes line up. Um, just drill through the holes. I did it the hard way and used a, a hole finder for every single one. Um, read the directions afterwards rather than before, so that bit me in the butt. Um, got that mounted. Bolt through there. Um, I think the the steel sleeve that goes in here and the same one on the bottom. Um, I think that comes in the finishing kit. I couldn't find it anywhere in my pieces or in any of my boxes. Um, so I ended up just ordering from Zenith. Um, I think my height's off just a teeny bit, but everything lines up and works. Might have to rebend down here. Missing two washers down there. Plans call for two washers, but in the picture they show four, so I'm going to go with four. Um, and to drill, or shave a little bit off of here for the elevator. So, slowly coming together. Um, so now I'm working on the, the fairing. So I've got these L's in here, actually they're Z's, I forget what they call them. So that goes there, I gotta trim so I can trim a bit off the nose here just so it clears this and I think trim a little bit off of each. Got all the holes drilled for the bigger fairing. So that one fits in there real nice. The uh, I think the cutout straight from Zenith will be perfect. Um, shares a hole down in this back corner with these brackets. I'm not sure, that'll be kind of a chicken or the egg thing. I can't put the horizontal stabilizer on until I put uh, that rivet in and this rivet in, but I can't I can't put this on until this is on, because um, it, it I can't fit it in there. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might either have to just cut that rivet hole out, um, just put a rivet down in here, um, just cut that out. Not sure what I'll do. Or I can hack this away and make it bigger so that I can fit this in while the fairing's on, but I'd prefer not to do that just because it's a really good, clean shape right now. So we'll see what I end up doing. I think I've got a ways to go. What I did do is, where that fairing comes, it runs over the top of a handful of these rivets. Um, so I got a little dimple die set. It's like seven bucks on it. I'm not sure, I got a couple different sizes. It's just sitting closest to my hand, but so you got a male and a female die. You just give it like a an eighth of a pull with the, the hand squeezer. And it does enough of a dimple to countersink a rivet. So anywhere that fairing passes over the top, I did a little countersink, so I got Two there, one here. This one actually ended up sharing a hole. Um, but I gotta go up to an A6 in order to get the the two holes to kind of line up perfectly. 
dimple there, dimple there. And I wanted to dimple this hole and that hole, but I can't, from this access hole, I can't fit my arm far enough up to get the, the dimple die on the backhand side. Um, and just the way I got it sitting now, I can't get up from the access hole underneath there. So, at least for now, those will stay as is. Um, not ideal. I might be able to just cut a little. They're kind of, this overlaps only about an eighth of the way over the top of the rivet head, so I might just trim a little bit out. It should fit through there perfect. So I'm going to keep going. Um, next step is to get this fairing mounted. Um, so I'm just going to click out this back in and I will start drilling the holes for this. I got to do some, lay out some rivet lines and mark uh, I think 20 millimeters up so it stuffs into the other fairing. So keep going. <laughs> 